in this uh, section we'll talk about the next uh, food item or rather nutrient which gets digested and that is fat the most common form in which we consume the fat is triglyceride so the food which we take in mainly has triglyceride fat and quickly we will understand the function of this so that it helps us in understanding the process of digestion that how this is broken down into simpler molecules. When we talk of normal fat there is glycerol which is attached with one, two or three fatty acids. The structure is CH2OH, CHOH and CH2OH. This is glycerol molecule. It has three functional groups. So, and fatty acid when we write, it should have at least one carboxyl group. So, with elimination of water, the bond is formed and that bond <coughs> is known as the ester bond and with this ester bond formation either one, two or three fatty acids would get attached. Such a fat is known as triglyceride fat. And when it is broken down with the help of enzyme, first one fatty acid will be released. So we will get fatty acid and a diglyceride fat. A diglyceride fat would have two fatty acids attached to the uh, glycerol. One more time action, two fatty acids will be released and a monoglyceride fat would be uh, formed. So the reaction or the process, if we start uh, as per what we have been discussing for carbohydrate and proteins, the location wise. First, buccal cavity. Here, there is no fat digestion because in saliva, there is no lipase. Then it comes to the second location that is stomach. And stomach has a mild gastric lipase. It has a mild gastric lipase. This lipase has its optimum pH around 4, 4.5. Whereas in stomach, it is getting a highly acidic pH and that is why its action is very mild. So here we can write negligible fat digestion takes place here. It is so less that it can be simply ignored. Then the third position or third location where fat digestion would take place is duodenum. In duodenum first the fat gets emulsified. This is one more reason why this gastric lipase has negligible action. Number one, it is not getting the optimum pH and secondly, the fat is not emulsified. We'll understand what is the significance of this emulsification. So here we write the fat and invariably when we write fat, we are talking about the triglyceride fat. It is acted upon by bile salts and bile salts are sodium glycocholate and sodium torocholate they break down this big piece into smaller droplets here there is no bond broken only thing is a big drop would be broken down into smaller this is known as emulsified fat and because of this emulsification, these tiny droplets are acted upon by the enzyme. Let us understand this. Suppose this is a big drop of fat, then this much surface area is available for the action of lipase. Lipase works in aqueous medium. And if it gets emulsified, then this bigger drop will be broken down into tiny droplets and all along its surface, the lipase action can start. 
and that is why this emulsification is essential. So that is done by bile salts. Second, now this emulsified fat. Emulsified fat is acted upon by pancreatic lipase. Action is again taking place at the basic pH 8.6 to 8.8 and it is broken down into diglyceride fat plus fatty acids. That's why this structure is essential. This is a triglyceride fat. When lipase acts on this emulsified fat, one fatty acid is released that we have written. After this fatty acid is gone, there are two fatty acids attached to glycerol. This molecule will be called triglyceride. Further, this would be acted again by lipase. And now there would be monoglyceride fat and fatty acid. So first fatty acid was gone more action of lipase, the second fatty acid is also released. So now the molecule which remains has glycerol and one fatty acid that is monoglyceride fat. Again action of lipase and we would get glycerol and fatty acid. Glycerol plus fatty acid. That means the complete fat molecule, the triglyceride fat is broken down into its components but this reaction takes place in stages triglyceride emulsified fat first gets broken down into diglyceride and fatty acid then monoglyceride and fatty acid and then finally we get all the end product that is glycerol and fatty acid the similar kind of action is done by in the uh, intestinal lipase but that intestinal lipase has a less action so here we can also write pancreatic lipase as well as intestinal lipase. It also performs same kind of action on the triglyceride fat. With this fat digestion gets completed but for that these bile salts play a very significant role because unless or until emulsification is not done fat digestion would get affected. And that is why when a person gets infection of liver, something like jaundice, when these bile production gets affected and if bile is not produced, even the salts would not be produced properly. And in those patients, fat digestion becomes difficult because the fat doesn't get emulsified and that's why it's not properly digested. In stomach, we have written that there is a lipase but does not work uh, efficiently as optimum pH not available. And secondly, fat is not emulsified. So both these reasons add up as negligible digestion would take place. So complete digestion of fat takes place in duodenum only. When we talked of carbohydrate, the digestion started in buccal cavity, ends in duodenum. In case of protein, digestion starts in stomach and ends in duodenum. Here, it starts in stomach, though negligible, and ends in duodenum. That means the complete digestion takes place in duodenum or this is the part where digestion process gets completed. We will add one more term here. We have already discussed two. We have talked of bolus. We have talked of chyme or chyme. Here we will take one more word which is called chyme or chyme. After digestion is completed in duodenum, this food is completely digested and basic. So we say digested basic food and basic here means the pH. So basic pH food is considered or is given the term chai. So bolus is 
the ball like soft food which we swallow chyme is partially digested acidic food which is released from the stomach and coming into the duodenum and now this food which is digested it are all digested material and it is basic in nature its ph is basic such digested basic food is known as chyme so after these three important things which get digested the next substance which we need to understand which would get digested is nucleic acid